Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have been kind of plugging away at the 455. Um, we got it back. It didn't have the water pump or anything else on it. So I've just been kind of buttoning it up, getting ready to get dropped back into the car again. Um, it gave it a fresh coat of paint and, and everything got painted. I also got the AC brackets to line up, which is super awesome right now. Um, kind of by accident, but a hey, accident and it still worked. I'll take it. So I'll show you what we've been doing. Um, and hopefully we'll have a video of it getting installed here in the next few days. Maybe even this evening if I feel motivated. And there she is in all her glory. Um, it's an Oldsmobile 455, 11 to one compression, Demon carburetor. Uh, I believe it's an 850 with an electric choke. I believe. So, but I did get the AC brackets to work because it's got a high rise. The brackets weren't lining up. So I got it, I kind of bolted it all together, tightened it all down and then kind of massaged some stuff and got it to work. Uh, water pumps back on, new gaskets. It's got brand new gaskets throughout. Uh, it got new rod and main bearings. I guess the, the assembly lube was just shot inside of there. So. It's all freshly been gone through. Um, the valves and the pistons were clearanced, so it's no longer an interference motor. Um, the issue we were having with it was it was out of time. So when the piston was coming up, um, it was just barely touching that valve. So they clearanced the pistons. They got it all back in time. They're not touching anymore. Um, they redid the valley pan for me and got all this assembled. So I've already put the water pump on it. All this got fresh paint. The whole engine got fresh paint. Um, for my AC brackets, they milled down the either, what is it, fuel injection or nitrous ports. They milled those down. They milled down the boss that this thing sits on. So um, it'll fit, sit a little bit lower. It's still not perfect. Um, and when I was got, trying to get it fit, it actually broke the bracket. So I tacked it together in the correct spot to where this was sitting absolutely where it needed to be at. And then got it red, red hot since this is uh, cast iron. Got it red hot and uh, I welded it. I made sure it was nice and, and got good penetration. And then I re-welded the stud on the backside here. I just offset it so now it all lines up perfect and we're working on getting the front accessories put together and then all of it has to come back off because i have to use this guy to get it into the car because there's a transmission in it so i need the angle to get it to made up nicely without tearing things up i also did find an air cleaner which is pretty cool two inch air cleaner so we should still be able to shut the hood um, if it was over, I think three inches, it would hit the hood. So hopefully when I get it in the car and set it in, I could close the hood and we will have clearance. <music> she is landed in there 
Uh, I've got three bell housing bolts holding it, so I still got to go underneath there and get all the bell housing bolts. And then, believe it or not, I got to hook that thing back up to it and raise the nose of this up as high as it can to try to get the headers back under. Because um, it's got a set of long tubes, and it is a very, very, very tight fit, especially on this passenger side over here down at the motor mount area. But it's in. Um, air cleaner does sit just below i got maybe another inch before it gets up into the stopper to keep it from coming down on it so i think that two inch air cleaner is actually going to be really good <sighs> let me tell you it's not fun landing this thing from the side i landed it twice from the front with no transmission and it went right in because i could push the motor back but from the side these don't travel sideways very well. So trying to get it to travel sideways and, and get in the spot was not fun. But it's in. It's on its own power. It's sitting on the ground. Nothing's holding it in. Um, so we're, we're set to continue pushing this thing forward. Once I get the headers on, I can get all the front accessories. Uh, start working on the shroud and the radiator and the fan. And obviously the... Uh, the crank pulley which is out there drying because it got a fresh coat of paint the water pump pulley which is right here uh, did not need any paint and actually looks pretty good so we're on track um, I gotta figure out a throttle linkage because this has got the square peg so I'll have to make some sort of bracket that that thing can slide in and hook to it and pull the kick downs off of the pedal. So I don't have to worry about a kick down off of the distributor or the um, carburetor. And then I got to figure out the fuel line setup. I saw at O'Reilly's they sell a fuel line setup, but they didn't have a fuel pressure gauge. So I might get one of those and try to figure out what to do with the fuel pressure gauge. So yeah, it's in. It's in, it looks good, nice and nice and clean and, and uh surprisingly I didn't get too terribly dirty. I got a little bit of little bit of muck on me. But I gotta go through and paint some stuff. That sticks out like a sore thumb. Um I've already painted the frame rails and some of the steering. But the 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 stuff that sticks out that needs to get painted is gonna get painted. So well, Gandalf's got a heart in there again. Let's see if she can uh, start working this time. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I know it wasn't the greatest video, but um, it's forward progress, and I like kind of documenting forward progress, and it actually looks pretty good, especially with that air cleaner in there. It looks really big. So, we're... Uh, we're on track. Hopefully in the next week or two, we will hear this thing run. So again, thanks for watching. Adios.